Budget CPU coolers are usually loud, but this one actually isn't. Howdy howdy guys, Ponchato here, and today we'll be taking a look at the Pure Rock Slim from Be Quiet. Thanks to Be Quiet for sending this one over for review, and let's get started. The Pure Rock Slim is a compact tower cooler released back in September of 2016, and is Be Quiet's most affordable CPU cooler at only around $25. It's compatible with AM4 and LG1151 sockets, and Be Quiet rates it for a 120 watt TDP, about double that of AMD's entry level stock cooler, the Wraith Stealth. The box follows Be Quiet's standard design style which is simple, useful, and straight to the point. I love how they put the TDP right on the front so you know quickly whether the cooler can handle the processor you'll be putting it on. The sides just have some marketing speak and the back has all the detailed specifications you might need. Inside the box, the cooler is held down by two flaps which fold out of the way, revealing the nice brushed aluminum top plate of the cooler. It comes with the LGA1151 mounting clips already installed and has thermal paste pre-applied to the base with a hard plastic shell to keep it free from dust. The instruction pamphlet comes in multiple languages and is divided into Intel and AMD sections. It's really short since the install process is so easy. Next up is the fan, a Be Quiet Pure Wings 2 with all black blades, housing, and cable. Finally at the bottom is all the mounting equipment, an AMD tension bracket, and the fan clips. That's actually it, this is a really simple cooler. The heatsink follows the same basic design philosophy as any other. Copper heat pipes support an array of aluminum fins, and though the fins are contoured and have some minor aesthetic details, it's all pretty much par for the course. The heatsink has three heat pipes, 6mm in diameter, and has a really nice brushed aluminum top plate with coverage for the heat pipes. Most budget coolers leave them exposed, so this is a nice detail. The 92mm Pure Wings 2 fan is rated for 500 to 2000 RPM and comes with a sleeve bearing, the most basic type but to be expected on a budget cooler like this. It doesn't have any LEDs but does use Be Quiet's unique contoured fan blade design which they say improves airflow and noise characteristics. The Pure Rock Slim isn't just Be Quiet's cheapest cooler, it's also one of the smallest. At only 125mm tall, 97mm wide, and 82mm deep, it'll fit in all but the tiniest of cases. It doesn't include an extra set of fan clips for a push-pull configuration, and because it uses AMD's tension clip, it can only be mounted vertically on AM4 systems. The benefit of using that AMD tension clip is that you get the simplest installation possible, short of Intel's push-pin system. Since the LGA1151 mounts are pre-installed, all you need to do is remove the plastic cover on the base and then clip it in. For AMD systems, you'll first need to remove the Intel clips by unscrewing four tiny screws on the base, two for each side. The screws on one side of this particular sample were, evidently, tightened by a gorilla, but once I got them started, removal was easy. With the Intel brackets off, you just slide the AMD retention clip through the heatsink, line up the notches in the clip with the notches in the base, then position the cooler on the CPU. Hook the non-lever side of the clip over the bracket on the motherboard, then hook the lever side and clamp it down. Just make sure you put the lever end on the back end of the cooler, unlike what I did here, since it's tall enough to run into the fan when it's centered on the heatsink. Once the heatsink is mounted to the motherboard, you just align the fan, hook the fan clips to the front of the fan, and then clip them into the heatsink. As you can see, even though the Pure Rock Slim is mounted horizontally, it won't interfere with RAM clearance at all. That's the benefit of a tiny cooler. My test bench is a Ryzen 3 1200 overclocked to 4.1 GHz at 1.35 volts on an MSI B350M Gaming Pro motherboard with 8GB of DDR4-2400 memory. The graphics card is a passively cooled GT1030 from MSI and thanks to Seasonic for providing the power supply, an 850W Focus Plus Gold which can run passive under low load. Because the GT1030 and Seasonic 850FX run passive cooling and don't produce noise, the only sound coming from this system is from the CPU cooler itself. Load temperatures are taken with the CPU running a Prime 95 stress test, temperatures are allowed to stabilize then averaged over three runs, and cooling results are reported as deltas, degrees above ambient temperature. First we'll look at the idle results. These are the noise levels and temperature deltas with no programs running and the fans at their minimum RPM. The Pure Rock Slim sits near the front of the pack when it comes to idle noise. Since the fan is only 92 millimeters and it can slow down to 500 RPM, it's effectively inaudible at idle. Temperature deltas at idle are mostly a non-issue, and in fact, deltas below about 4 degrees are the result of poor temperature probe accuracy at low temperatures. Basically, there's no need for accuracy when the processor is so far below its upper limit. Now we'll look at the max cooling results. These measurements are taken under load with the fans at full speed to show the upper limit of cooling. Here are the effects of having such a small heatsink show up. The Pure Rock Slim's Delta fell behind every other aftermarket cooler I've tested. That said, this is the smallest cooler by quite a large margin, much cheaper than several of them, and the only one with a 92mm fan. You should mostly be comparing this cooler with stock coolers like the Wraith Stealth, since those are its main target. In that regard, it kept the Ryzen 3 1200 nearly 9 
degrees colder than the stock cooler at nearly the same noise level. Next, we'll take a look at the RPM versus PWM graph to show the granularity of control you can achieve with the fan. Anything below 20% PWM and the fan will run at its minimum RPM, but above that, the control is very close to linear. A more linear response gives you better control over the RPM, allowing you to more finely tune your cooling needs against the noise level. The Pure Ring Stew fan does this well. Now here's the delta C versus RPM graph to show whether the cooler is limited by airflow or by heat transfer. A leveling off at higher RPM indicates the cooler is limited by heat transfer, while a consistent drop in delta indicates airflow is the limiting factor. In most cases, tower coolers and liquid AIOs are limited by heat transfer, while top-down and low-profile coolers are limited by airflow. The Pirox Slim does seem to have a bit more cooling potential left at the upper end, but since the fan is already running at over 2000 RPM, the only way to improve it further with Without massively increasing noise would be the addition of a second fan in push-pull. Now here's the most important graph for performance, temperature delta versus noise. This answers the fundamental question for any CPU cooler. How loud is it, and how well does it cool? The Pirox Slim is basically halfway between typical full-size tower coolers and the extremely compact Wraith Stealth. At any given noise level, it's 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the other tower coolers, and 7 to 10 degrees lower than the stock cooler. What I like most is that it can easily maintain safe temperatures at under 35 decibels, which is close to the lower limit of being audible at a couple feet away inside a case. Now here's the chart of cooler scores, which are essentially how close the cooler gets to a hypothetical perfect cooler with a zero degree delta and zero decibels of noise. You can think of this as a metric to compare coolers running at their optimal speed balanced between cooling performance and noise level. The Pirox Slim, unsurprisingly, falls behind the much larger coolers I've tested and only scores about a 37 here. However, it handily outperforms AMD's Wraith Stealth and maintains a tiny footprint while doing so. Finally, cooler score per dollar to show price to performance. Though the Pirox Slim falls behind in absolute performance, it excels in price to performance owing to its super low cost. In fact, it bests all but one cooler I've tested, putting it firmly into the budget beast category. And that value proposition is, I think, exactly what Be Quiet was trying to do with the Pirox Slim. Now for the pros and cons. First up, the pros. Number one, it's cheap really cheap. $25 is not a hard pill to swallow, especially if you're getting it to replace your stock cooler. Second, you don't need to worry about RAM clearance. Being small may limit performance to an extent, but it also comes with the benefit of not crowding or blocking anything else in your system. Third, I actually really like that Be Quiet ships it with thermal paste already applied. It's a minor detail, but it takes a step out of the installation process and, at least for Intel systems, reduces the total installation time to maybe two minutes at the outside. As for the cons, the down downside of using AMD's retention bracket is that it can't be mounted vertically on AM4 systems. This is mostly an aesthetic problem, but there is something to be said about keeping your CPU fan in line with your system's overall airflow, which in 99% of cases is front to back. Second, and this is more of a QA problem than a design issue, the screws holding the LGA brackets were crazy tight. I had to be careful to not strip the screws since they're so tiny. I think the best change they could make would be using larger diameter screws so if one does get over tightened, it'll be easier to unstick without stripping it. Overall, the Pure Rock Slim is great for its design purpose, a cheap and sizable upgrade from your stock cooler, without dealing with a difficult installation, RAM clearance problems, or height concerns. One of the best things about it is how quiet it is at idle and under load. With a reasonable fan curve, you could very realistically never hear this cooler. At idle, it's effectively inaudible, and under load, it'll be drowned out by all but the lowest power and lowest noise GPUs. Even a single hard drive is likely to be louder than it. If you're tired of dealing with the high temperature, temperatures or poor noise performance of a stock cooler, and you don't want to break the bank finding a replacement, Be Quiet's Pure Rock Slim should be at the top of your list. Click the link in the description to pick one up for yourself. If you want to get notified of new videos as soon as they're up, hit subscribe and then click the bell icon to enable notifications. So guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And if you have any questions on the Pure Rock Slim, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped, and I'll see you in the next video.